sound, the sound of a gong, sound of harmonics, overtones, frequencies, of vibration. You see, this whole world is filled with an array of different vibrational status of different characteristics from planetary frequencies to your chakras vibrating at a certain frequency to the energy of positivity or the opposite of fear of negativity everything is a vibration everything is sound sound has been here since the beginning of time and it was said that before there was light there was sound because sound is a vibration the start of the Big Bang was a vibration, a sound, before it sparked into light itself. The sound of, of life, it can be heard everywhere, obviously, in nature. Some may find sounds pleasing, satisfying. Others, depending on their state of mind at that time, may find the sound of nature annoying or distracting because of their thoughts. Sound has a very important influence on our well-being, of our state of mind, and the presence of no sound at all can allow new sounds to come through. So in regards to mediumship, psychic awareness, uh, meditation, where people get information, downloads, inspiration, ideas, contact from the other side, their past loved ones, their spirit guides, their guardian angels, spirit animals, whatever works for you. The thing is, sound is very important. Sound, darkness and light are all the things that create consciousness on a metaphysical level. Metaphysics is about the research of science, of the paranormal, of psychic awareness. But spirituality is about a life growing purpose of where you are going, what has happened to you and things that you have to grow. So the term spirituality, in a sense, is a vibration which allows oneself to transcend to new levels of awareness. And with that comes metaphysics. And metaphysics is a scientific study of the energetic realms which is, our, which is around us, the dimensions which is around us. Dimensions, if you want to calculate it as a figure of meters or distances as miles. But however, this dimensions is several layers between each other as a vibration of sound. Now, if you obviously heard of heaven, afterlife, there is this vibration of this area that people pass over to because it is their religion, their belief, for example. So all these religions in the world, they have a vibration of their own afterlife because that is the beauty, the love that is there for those to transcend into, that vibration. However, the vibration that you're currently in at the moment, you are obviously viewing me from a device. If you're not, then I'll be quite surprised if you're tuning in. However, that vibration that is going to you, you're hearing my voice through either speakers, or tiny speakers, is it headphones, or whatever is taking place, that is a vibration itself. And how speakers work is that the sound doesn't come from the speaker, but the sound comes from the air vibrating around you. So at the moment, if you have your speaker uh, on and is vibrating the air around you to hear, so that air is vibrating and going into your ears, which is vibrating the three little bones in your ear, which creates sound. So sound doesn't necessarily come from a speaker as such. You can locate the sound, which is where it's more dense, from a speaker. However, that sound is in the room vibrating. This is how gongs work. These are like giant speakers, that they are vibrating the sound in the room. The sound doesn't just come from the, from the gong alone, the vibration. So when it is played, The sound comes from the gong, but the sound is in the room. The sound can be heard and felt from the gong itself, but, but the vibration is spread out in the room, causing an, an reaction, in action of sound for your cells, which is very powerful, which is very beautiful, clearing, cleansing. If you look at uh, a live blood analysis, which I've done many years ago, that you see here on the left, 
that the cells are a lot more sticky and stuck together. After a gong session, you see on the right that the cells are a lot more freer and flowing. And this is showing you and telling you that what's taking place is that sound has an impact on us biologically. And as we know biologically, the stresses and strains of life, the dis-ease that's in our body, can be cleared away through physical means because that disease there in the first place is to do with a mental issue that we've had, an issue that we haven't resolved, an issue that we haven't dealt with. And so it is a, an imbalance, an out of balance um, illness that is taking place. Sound is a beautiful thing that you should explore. And why? Because it's very clearing, calming. Gongs have the capacity to dissolve the ego. So if you have a very chattery mind, a monkey mind as we call it, and even now as I'm speaking you can probably hear the resonance from the gong because I'm quite close to it. As I'm in tune with the gong and the gong is singing to me, back to me. So if you're hearing that in the background, I can hear it. But sound, why is it important to have sound in your life? Now see, we have sometimes a lot of chatter going on in our minds. Stories that we play out from past experiences, things that we're probably frustrated about, or we're frustrated to get somewhere. But when we play a sound, it blocks out all those voices, those chatter in our minds, and allows us to fully relax. If you put someone in a room, a silent room, in an anagonic chamber, which is basically a chamber of no sound at all. It's one of those padded um, rooms with all those spikes, you may have seen this before, where you close the door and you can't hear anything. It's so dense that when you speak, your sound, your voice, the sound of your voice is, is muffled so much that it doesn't seem like you have much of a capacity to speak or shout loud because the sound is absorbed into those tiles, into that space. So if you put someone in there who has a lot of worries on their mind, it's gonna make it more so because that's all they can hear. And those thoughts and those feelings, those past stories that we play out in our minds, it's not a physical thing, but it's a mental thing. And that goes to show that our mental body has a voice. And the manifestation energy that we procreate to create things in our life comes from this mental state body. So it's important to always be aware of your thoughts. I'm not saying that I'm perfect and well in this. It takes time to master. I'm still mastering this ability to let go of, of feelings, let go of frustrations. It's daily life. I'm human. I'm just the same as you. We all have our, our issues but I'm perfecting it in a way that I live my life in such a way I don't need a holiday. And that vibration of stress and strain, I don't want. I want to live a life of purity, of stress-free, and who doesn't? This is where sound comes into play. At the moment, social media is such a vibration which is absorbing us and taking us away from our physical reality. If you look at the arguments on online, there's plenty of videos of parents taking away consoles or TVs and or even smashing them. It's kind of like, wow, how much are people getting absorbed into this non-physical reality? And it's not necessarily a spiritual non-physical reality. It's a reality beyond the physical where it's online, virtual. And I love being, doing things online. I love making videos. This is my passion. But I also love dreams. I love nature. I love exploring, I love traveling. And so everything in life should be balanced. There's nothing wrong with, you know, playing a console game or doing things online. But the thing is, you need balance in your life. And this is a balance of vibration. Because if your vibration is too much in one area, then you are not balanced. So it's like having a balanced diet, having a balanced hobby. You know, if you're eating all the time, you're just going to get big and you're not going to do other things. But if you concentrate your energies in all areas of your life, that's all balanced and stabilized, then this is where the sound of, of life flows through you. 
And when you're in a stable position where you are calm, collective with your thoughts, then you allow those, those new ideas, those concepts, those downloads to come to you much more freely and, and easily. So give it a go. If um, you don't have a gong of your own, which is very beautiful to sit and play, you don't need a very, very big gong. You can always start off with a, a 25 inch or a 30 inch. I recommend a 30 inch. A 30 inch is very beautiful to play with. You don't need a huge gong. They are expensive, but the thing is, it doesn't cost any money to, to play. It's, uh, it's free to play. You can play anywhere. You can play quietly. You can play loud. You can take it anywhere, especially a small gong as well. Like this size I love, this, the She Moon, which is beautiful. And I often take it to many different places. Um, I love churches, echoey, acoustic places, sometimes out in nature. Um, or even in my home where there's no distractions. Playing it at a certain time of the day, very beautiful, play for hours. You can get very, very lost in the sound, a very beautiful meditation. And when you're in that vibration, it's clearing your cells, just as the blood, the live blood analysis which I showed you. And when you sit and play and let go, then it allows new things to come into you. The gong has changed the life of many people. The same as sound, speakers, People, people love listening to sound, but when you play, you're playing in your own unique way. You're playing with your own vibration. And the gong is a catalyst for change. And it's helped me in many different ways and so many other people. So thanks for watching and um, listen to one of my gong videos or come attend one of my retreats or workshops and come listen to a gong yourself. And I hope to see you soon.